It's the Game Game Show, filmed live in front of an outdoor audience. Today's episode will feature the big race, and now your hosts. Hi, I'm Adam Burrow. And I'm Madison Contesti. And welcome to the Game Game Show. We've got a great show for you today, sponsored by Brian's Books. Today is the big race. That's right, Adam. Now let's hear about the rules. First, we have the balloon butt pop. Each contestant will pop five balloons filled with water, only using their butts. Then they'll move on to the shoe hunt. In each contestant's bag, there are three shoes. The player must find the match to all three shoes in the pit pit. of souls. Right you are, and after the pit of souls, they then head over to Brian's book's bin of prizes. In one of the three bins is a picture of the grand prize, a sweatshirt courtesy of Brian's books. In searching for the picture, they are not allowed to take paper from the bin. First one to find the picture wins the game. Now that we've heard the rules, let's meet our contestants. I'm Caitlin. I'm here to win this obstacle course. I've been practicing with the balloons on the butt thing all summer, so it should be good. Here we go. Hey everybody, my name is Lindsay. I'm here to win this obstacle course today. I've been training all weekend, running 10 miles a day and doing jumping jacks and sit-ups and my stretches, and I'm ready to go. Woo! Oh, hey, what's up? It's Michael. I'm here to kill this obstacle course today. I've been training for all of my whole life, as you can tell. All right, let's do this. Let's head down to the track. Look at the determination on those players' faces. On your mark, get set. <laughs> Looks like Lindsay's taking the lead. She's getting a seat down there with Caitlin and Michael straight behind them. And uh, she looks like she's having a little bit of trouble there, but she got through her first one. Mike looks like a pro. Oh, Michael is throwing balloons all over the place, though. This man, he's got a crazy strategy, and it, uh, it doesn't look to be as efficient as we can think. Oh, she's taking off. Here comes Mike. Oh, and he's safe at shoes. I thought they were going to throw him out. Poor Lindsay is just struggling with those balloons. And they're still looking for those shoes. I have that problem all the time. I mean, me too. I have 29 pairs of shoes and it is just an atrocious morning every single day for me. Oh, but she's looking like she's making some progress though. She just really isn't putting her, oh, there she goes. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been proven wrong once again. And she's off the shoes as well. And Michael has taken off. Did Michael even find his shoes? It looks like he just found the band. Keep it in. Oh, my butt's still wet right there. Looks like Michael's almost got it. I don't know. He's really just searching for it and uh, doesn't seem to be finding anything. Um, according to the song, you two still haven't found what I'm looking for. Come on, ladies. We can do it. Uh, still looks like they're searching for those shoes. It has really taken them a long time. And Michael is just all alone in his bin of prizes looking for them. And ladies and gentlemen, he is just lost. Lost in a world of emotion, lost in a world of paper, lost in a world of bins, to be honest. Oh, looks like Caitlin is off. Oh, and here comes little Lindsay. Oh, uh, they have simultaneously found it. And it looks they're like charging. they're, oh, they're wow. Oh my. And so Caitlin's got their next, and Lindsay is coming in close behind. It is anybody's game at this point. My money's on Michael at this point. My money is on Wisconsin, but uh, it looks like they're losing too. Wow, this looks like a pretty intense game here, Adam. It sure is intense. In fact, we're gonna cut away from the action right now and go to our game of Clue, and then return to the action as soon as it looks like it's coming to a close. Last time on Clue, six guests were invited to a secret dinner party. Everything seemed fine at first until Mr. Body was discovered to be dead. Now it's up to our guests to figure out the who, what, and where this murder took place. Trapped with no way out, they must play to find out who the killer is, no matter how uncomfortable it may be. What? Again? You get a six. 
every time. <sighs> ah, again! Oh. You've had the worst luck. I wish I could actually roll into somewhere or something. I wish we could just leave. <laughs> uh, could you speak up? She asked if anyone had tried opening the door. How did the doors get closed? Well, obviously, we're not gonna be able to open the door until we finish this game. I just lost the game. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather not translate that. Who loves these clothes? They're fabulous, right? Yeah, fabulous. I'm not a fan of this either. Well, I mean, at least the dress looks normal on you. I think it's a good look for you. No, I think it's a good look for you. <sighs> no, you have to keep it on. It's part of the atmosphere. Yeah, what are you, crazy? It was Mrs. White, in the conservatory, with a knife. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm. Hmm. I still think this is a trick. I don't even want to play. Don't you dare leave me alone with these people. continued on the next episode of The Game Game Show. Now, let's get back to the game. Alright, that was a great segment of Clue, but now we're back to the game. And we've just received word from the refs that the contestants can now dump the bins. That's right, it is some no-holds-barred action now. It really is anyone's game. Oh, hi, cameraman. Oh, you know, ladies and gentlemen, you gotta love it when the cameraman really gets in on the action. I remember back in my days when I used to shoot safari footage for the Discovery Channel. I really had a great time just getting in there with nature. Going after it like crazy. Now, if you look at the different styles, she's on both of her knees, he's on one foot and one knee, and uh, Lindsay really, really looks like she's digging down there with a sturdy stance both on both feet. We're gonna go and see if that helps her out later on. Well, Michael seems oh. to take a little different approach here. He is turning into a scarecrow quickly. Ladies and gentlemen, I have never seen somebody get pregnant faster than Michael McPhee just has. It's a good thing they looked at the rules. It's anybody's game. Exactly. They are really utilizing that, uh, that rule change right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I've never seen a game this close since the 1976 lacrosse match of Duke versus Harvard. And let me tell you, that was a crazy game. Looks like Lindsay has won, and congratulations to Lindsay. Ladies and gentlemen, she came all the way from behind. A real Cinderella story. A David versus Goliath tale. I am in shock. I am unbelieving of this event that just occurred in front of me. Ladies and gentlemen, I have witnessed this in person, and I don't believe my eyes. Wow, that sure was a phenomenal race that we just watched there. A real tearjerker, Adam. Now let's head on down to the award ceremony where Lindsay is receiving her sweatshirt from Brian's Books. Right, great job to all of our contestants. Unfortunately, two of you have just lost the game. But Lindsay has won our fine game, and she gets this yes. fabulous sweatshirt provided to us by Brian's Books. Everybody should shop at Brian's Books. And here you go. Yay. Ladies and gentlemen, another marvelous game game show. I'm your host, Adam Burrow. And I'm Madison Contesti. And we hope you guys have a wonderful day. Awesome. <laughs> 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 <laughs>